Shalom, this is Karat Dizah. coming at you with another video, uh, basically going into the whole shaving thing once again. Apologize for taking so long on the video. Sometimes it just takes a very, very long time to go through everything that's being said and to put together a rebuttal, especially when there's a lot being said and it's so much to talk on. But uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to show you the evolution of, of what was being said. Started from uh, from the from Tahar all the way down to some of the younger brothers. What the fuck are you doing, man? Oh, we had the one guy. Um, whether he got kicked out or he fell out was uh, was his name Karatizar from Florida. He used to be pretty much the regional head of, of Florida, and he's he's out of it, man. And some of the guys that was under him are following him. And then, you know what's gonna happen to that dude Karatizar if that's his name? He he's gonna fall off. He's going to fall off. He's doing his own thing, talking about, uh, this is what Apostle Ryan Lop told me, that, you know, when you line yourself up, that means if you do it for the dead. Well, that's bullshit, man. That's bullshit, because I'm going to show you. Let me see, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, Leviticus 19, verse 27 and 28, right? Now, if you read it, let me go to uh, 27. I was trying to start at 26, and these are the laws. Ye shall not eat anything with, with the blood, neither shall ye use enchantment, 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 nor observe time, meaning witchcraft, all right? Uh, ye shall, 27 verse, ye shall not round the corners of thy heads, which you got a lot of Israelites that line itself up, put cuts and edge ups and all that, which is, and this, and this law condemn, condemns that. Neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beer, beard. All right, you got a guy with a five o'clock shadow. That's not a beard, all right? A beard is a fully grown, you know, fully grown on your, 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 around your mustache, your your cheeks, you know, your chin. That's a beard that's fully grown. Something grew that you can grab it. It says, uh, ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am Yahweh. Okay, so he said, according to what Apostle Ryan Lop told me, that he's saying that, well, you can line yourself up as long as you're not doing it for the dead. Well, number one, He's going off on that. Number two, that's not even uh, in the 27th verse. 27th verse, Leviticus 19, verse 27. Ye shall not round the corners of of your heads, and neither shall thou mar the corners of thy bed. One, that's a law. That's a law. Okay? It's 26th verse. Ye shall not eat anything with the blood, neither shall ye use enchantment, nor observe, observe times. That's another law. Uh, the 26th verse does not run into Alright, so as you can see He's saying that The law is pertaining to Lining up or shaving For the dead is bullshit Alright, so Let's go ahead and go to the next one Orlando Camp Karatazar Made a video saying Shaving is it lawful and I'll start this off by saying no, it's not. You don't shave your, your, your beard. You don't line your head up. Plain and simple. Okay, but pretty much what he's trying to say is that as long as you don't line your head up or shave your beard for the dead, for, for dead people, you get it's lawful. Which that's completely off and against the scriptures. Shaving ain't lawful no matter how much you want to do it or how much you think you can do it, man. But this is uh, Leviticus chapter 19, verse 27. You shall not round the corners of your head. Do not line your head, all right? Neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beard. So don't mess with your beard. You don't line your beard up or nothing like that. You don't shave it off, all right? If you can't mar your beard, then you definitely can't shave it, all right? Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. These are different laws, all right? But that's what uh, Karatazad, 
for some reason you're trying to bond them together and say that you can't uh, uh, round the corners of your head or mar the corners of your beard uh, and making cuttings of the flesh for the dead are all the, the same. That's supposed to be the same meaning. No, it's not. Okay, so once again, he's basically saying the same thing to is saying. It's off to shave your beard. There's two different laws. It's not talking about for the dead. All right. On to the next one. And that's the law in itself. Verse 27 is one law. Just like how verse 26 is one law. And I'm going to read it. You shall not eat anything with blood, neither shall ye use enchantment, nor observer of times. That's it. Verse 27. You shall not round the corners of your beard. I mean, excuse me, you shall not round the corners of your head, neither shall thou mar the corners of thy beard. That's it. That's one another law. You shall not make any cuttings in the flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you, for I am the Lord. That's another law. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore, lest the land fall to whoredom, and the land become full of wickedness. That's another law. And this is all laws. All right? Different, separate laws. None of these laws intertwine with each other. All right? Separate laws. And again... You're not going to see it if you don't want to see it. If, you, if you're looking for a loophole in the scriptures to try to. So you see, he's saying the same thing to all. He's saying they don't intertwine. The scriptures don't intertwine. And shaving is not. It's unlawful for any reason. Now, watch how it starts to change. And we, we're going to go through these comments as well. But watch how it starts to change. Lawful. But their argument is that it's not permitted if you're doing it for the dead, which that was a custom that the heathens were doing when they would um, mourn, you know, uh, for the dead or, or towards uh, idols. So they're basically creating a gray area around getting a, a, a lineup. You know, getting a uh, you know getting a taper, uh, uh, shaving your beard, you know, shaving your mustache, because technically, if you ain't doing it for the dead, then you're really not going off, because it's only talking about the dead when you read it in its context, in which they did a 43 minute video trying to cover that aspect, and uh, this is what happens when you search. Your own glory, because that's what I believe is going on with, with, with these dudes. They're trying to seek their own glory, man. And we're not in the time to be trying to seek our own glory. This is the time for the truth and the glory of Yahweh Shah to be magnified, man. All right? It's not about your, how deep you can go on a breakdown. But this is what happens, man. Our dudes are get uh, over-technical and over-analytical, you know, trying to teach the law. And it, wind, it winds up, uh, they become crippled by it, man. And the calities in the law. So let's say, for example, we agree with you and you happen to be right. All right? Let's say, let, let's, let's say we agree with you. So now that that's true, it is concerning uh, uh, um, mourning for the dead which is uh, dealing with uh, idolatry. If, if, if that's actually okay now, would you say that you're creating a stumbling block? Because the scriptures say to um, give not the appearance of evil. Do they not, do, does it not say that in, in the scripture? Okay, now, so now you see, they're saying that if we're right, if we're right, how can it give, basically, if we, if, in a roundabout way, right, he's saying you could be right, but if you are right, hypothetically speaking, it gives the appearance of evil. Nah, man, right is right and wrong is wrong, but notice it's a, if you if you are right, if you were right, or let's say you are right. See how see how it's starting to change? Now let's go to the next one. When you uh 
go to the law, okay, in which we'll get more scriptures as well, okay, when you go to the law, it says uh, Leviticus 19 and 27, all right, ye shall not round the corner of your beards, neither shall thou mar the corner of thy beard, okay, ye shall not round the corner of your heads, neither shall ye mar the corner of thy beard, all right, which we understand that this was a custom of the heathen, okay, not only was it a company with, uh, you know, doing it for the dead, but it was a. So he says, not only was it a company with doing it for the dead. So now it's, you're right, but you're given the appearance of evil, which that would make to hard wrong, if we're right. But you see how it's change, how it changes, man. How it evolves. Let's keep listening. A part of the everyday society. And we'll show you that, okay? Because, uh, watch, it says, You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks on you, for I am the Lord your God. So, there you go, all right? And these practices were, when you do the study, heavily linked. The heathen did this, these uh, particular things for the dead. So the Lord is telling us to be separate. This is basically why the law was written. All right, so that way, what, what this brother Yashawamba says, that's totally different what Elder Tahar said. Tahar said it was bullshit. Tahar said it was bullshit. He said, see how it's, see how it's being for the dead. How did it change from the dead? I mean, um, how did it change from bullshit to being, yeah, it's for the dead, but see, that's the law to make us separate. So we got to keep a beard. They clearly fighting the truth on this subject because they're unstudied on the subject, man. All right, and that last video basically shows that it, it, they're not in agreement, man. They're just fighting against the, the subject just to fight against it. On one hand, Tahar says it's wrong. That's bullshit. The laws don't go together. On the other hand, the brother says... Oh, well, what if you're right? It could, it would be given the appearance of evil. Then on the last hand, the brother says, "Well, yeah, it was, it was for the dead, but that's to show that we were supposed to be separate because the heathen was doing it for the dead." Well, which one is it? And why, why, why? Basically, it just makes to all look stupid, man. Because he said one thing, now these brothers. After we put the heat on them about these scriptures and we made this whole series, now it's changing up to you could be right and yeah, we know that the heathen did this for the dead and we're not supposed to do it for the dead, but we ain't supposed to do it for no reason at all. That makes us separate. That right there causes confusion, man. Alright? So let's I wanna um Yeah, I wanna get a couple more things before we close this out. All right, let's let's get this next video. All right, but I want to go through some of these comments real quick. Brother Dude came on our page. He said, "Never, you never did vids. Now this, and all going on, this is what you're going into. Wow, this is sad." So another brother asked him to debunk it. I came on and I told him go to T Elder Tahar page, what is the six 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 mark, and asked him why did he address this issue in this camp first and come back and dismantle the scriptures that we brought out and prove scripturally that shaving is wrong. If not, stop being a hypocrite and questioning us about why we did this topic. Question the scriptures we brought out. We are not GMS or your servants. We are the servants of Yahweh, the great and powerful God of Yasharala. The man can't debunk what we're saying like none of GMS can. So he comes back and he says, man, just prophesy. Go through some more of these comments. So <clears throat> let's look at Tahar's comments. All right, he's on this. I don't even know this dude's name. This dude page, but <laughs> Ecclesiastes, because 32 and 17, the sinful man will not be reproved, but finding an excuse according to his will. He says, I told the other elders like seven, eight years ago, this dude wants out. And they spoke up for him. I want. I was correct in my assessment. Assessment. 
the evaluation or estimation of the future quality or ability of someone or something. Romans 6, 17, I beseech you, brethren, and mark them that, that cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which you have learned, and avoid them. Romans uh, 16 and 18, For they that are such serve not our Lord, Yahweh Shah, Mashiach, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the heart of the simple, another one bites the dust. Now, Tahar has yet to come out with a rebuttal video. Now, if it's anybody else, he'll come out in a, in a heartbeat. But the problem, the thing is, it's nothing that you could say against it because the law says what it says. And if you notice, Tahar hasn't come out with anything. Gabar hasn't come out with anything. Rhymelomb hasn't come out with anything. All of, the, all of those, what they call elders, haven't come out with anything. It's the brothers, the, the young brothers, trying to defend them and looking stupid to the point where basically they went against what Taha said. You can't defend what he's saying. That's why. Because that shit is not scriptural. But Taha, he has all his time to go on other people's page and talk shit about us. He didn't come on our page and say that to us, say that about us or say it to us. He didn't make a rebuttal video breaking down everything that we did wrong. He just said it was wrong. That's it. Without even giving and without even um breaking it down to correct us. He just said it was wrong and the scriptures don't go together when clearly and the heat really do. And um, by the way, Gabar just came out with a video on why it's important to go into the Hebrew. It's just funny, man. It's funny. All right, here's another comment. So a brother asks this dude, also, if shaving is a sin, what is the sentence? This guy says the sentence is to be put from among the congregation. That's why David told them to wait in Jericho until their beards were fully grown. The brother says, no, he told them to, he told them that because they were, they were went to, I'm sorry, because they went to a place of mourning, the king that died. And so when they returned, David didn't want to make them a public shame because it looked like they shaved for the dead king. You see this dude just pulled the law out his ass, this GMS Vegas sit downs. Where is that in the law? If, if, if it's against the law to shave, it's gonna give you, it's gonna give you a um. Let's not even say that. Basically, he just added to the law. There is no sentence for it, man. It don't tell you that you got to be put out of the congregation. That's just what David did. But you see, they they clearly don't understand the subject and they're winging it. And when I was in GMS, we were told not to wing it. So I don't know why these guys are allowed to wing it like this. And it's just cool. Once again, this dude, the brother asked him, why does 2 Samuel 10 and 1 say, what does 2 Samuel 10 and 1 say? They didn't even want to die. He says, you answer your own question, laugh out loud. King of Ammon died and his son succeeded him. The brother says, they were in mourning, hence is why David sent comforters. See, these, these, <sighs> Yo, this shit's crazy, man. So you see the brother went. He, <laughs> this is a question we have been asking them. And we're going to get to this in a second. On the, in the next sit down, I do. So Rack 15 and 20, he says, He that commanded no man to do wickedly, neither hath he given any man license to sin. Read. Ezekiel 1, 5 and 1, And thou, son of man, take thee a sharp knife, take thee a barber's razor, and cause it to pass upon thy head and upon thy beard. Then take thee balances to weigh and divide the hair. So is the Most High telling people to sin now? This is contradicting according to your doctrine. You see that brother, GMS Vegas sit down, she never answered that. Okay, so here's another comment. <clears throat> so uh, this dude GMS Awakening 144 Bob So basically asking him the same question Word Well you can ignore the fact that the king had died 
since you cut king, because he said he said he cut us. So he said, since you're the cut king, answer this, please. Question is, is Yahweh the Most High giving Ezekiel permission to sin? Please provide proof. Sirach 15 and 20. Not that he given any man license to sin. Sirach 5 1. Take thee a barber's razor and cause to pass upon thy head and thy beard. I put, if you can't answer, I understand it's a hard question which the elders or anyone in GMS won't answer. I guess it's pride that won't let you acknowledge you're wrong. Brother comes back, nah, bro, you the cut king. I come back and say, nah, I ain't shit but a servant. You see, I see you avoiding the question and can't answer, so I will let my peace return back to me. See, they just they won't answer this question, man. They can't answer this question. Because that doctrine that they're pushing, because that doctrine that they're pushing promotes confusion, man. It basically, it makes the scriptures contradict themselves. It makes the Most High contradicting. And we know that the Most High is not contradicting. All right, so this is another one. To you, a harbor one in Jacksonville. Look, man, I, I'm not even going to respond to you, man. Because here it is, you said, yo, you know, let's keep it peaceful and, and we, we just gonna, you know, we just gonna deal with the what the scriptures say. We you know we 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 ain't gonna get personal. If you wanna get personal, we can. Well look, you already you you put this on this dude page, yeah. How it took me away from those guys years ago, two thousand eight, a bunch of goofies, Shalom Apostle and Akim. You already called us goofies, man. For no reason at all. And you know you <laughs> I'm not going to get on to in here, but you already know. I know your history, man. But we ain't, we ain't going to get into that because that ain't even know what it's about, man. But you already violated talking about some goofies, man. So I'm not even going to respond to you. You know what I mean? We already, you know, we responded to the bulk of this stuff. It takes too long, man. You know what I mean? It takes too long, man. All right, so this is probably going to be the last comment we're going to go into, but just to show you that these dudes making videos and they don't even know what they're talking about. Speaking presumptuously. All right, so this is a brother, Awar, who you seen in the video earlier. He says, uh, Y'all just did a four part series totaling almost five hours on someone shaving. But prior to this, you were damn near non-existent when it came to doing the work. Shake my head. Just because I'm not a person is, just because you don't see a person making videos or you don't see their videos or even a person don't even got to make videos doesn't mean that they're not doing the work. All right? That shows you that it's all about validation for these guys. All right? Now, it says we did a four-part series, almost five hours. You know why we was able to do five hours worth of videos? Because we had scripture after scripture, and we still not done. It's just so ex 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 exhaustive, but we still got scriptures and things we can go into concerning this whole thing. It's because it's the truth. That's why. So he puts the scripture, Acts 20 and 30. Also, of your own self shall men arise speaking perverse things to draw away disciples after them. So I come back and told him, it's a lot of stuff, man. One, I've been doing the work since I came in. It's true. You don't know what I do. You're speaking ignorantly. You... Two, your quantifying of how many videos a person uploads does not equate to your Howard's value of righteousness. One's faith and keeping of the law does. I slash we are not GMS or your servants. We are servants of the great and powerful your Howard. Maybe you should study more. And focus on the quality of your lessons and not the quantity of your videos you can put you can put out. We believe in quality and truth over quantity and lies. Since you're here and I'm speaking perverse things, as you say, please answer this. We go proceed to ask him this. This question is Yahweh, the most I give Ezekiel license to sin. So you know we we give put Sirach fifteen twenty, not that to give any, any man license to sin. He got five and one, take the barber's raisin and cause the pass upon thy head and upon thy beard. I tell him, I'm looking forward to your answer, a war, shalom. 
P.S. If you don't, if you're not willing to prove our videos wrong, then there's no point in being here or talking. He comes back. I'm not going back and forth with you. No point. You are set in your mind. Do your thing. The Lord will come back and show who's right and who's wrong. I'm done with it. So what was the point in coming on here talking to them? What was the point in coming back to our videos, our new video, watching it, and then leaving a the comment if you're not going back and forth? If you believe I'm set in my ways, what's the point in talking to us? Um, the Brother Hummyum says, just be honest with yourself, Awar. You have absolutely no idea on how to answer this, his question. Because if you did, you know you wouldn't hesitate to engage. I hate how GMS elders encourage their members to behave cowardly when they're proposed with a question they're not privy to. So a word comes back from GMS Life Lessons. It says, at Hamiyam, laugh out loud, okay. So you see, th this is how, see, coming up in GMS, the old GMS, we, we, weren't, we weren't taught to behave like this, man. The man says, laugh out loud, okay. When, the man, when, when another man tells this guy in GMS, just be honest and, and just admit that you don't know how to answer the question, he puts laugh out loud, okay. All these dudes, when, when you present them a question that they can't answer, they go to laugh out loud, okay, or man, just, just prophesy, man, just teach the word, just do the word. Well, that's what we're doing. Just be honest and say, okay, them brothers, y'all could be right. Instead of going all about it, well, if you right, and what about, you know, the the, the appearance of evil, and, and like, nah. Nah, just say, hey, man, you may be right, or you right. But we want to hold it as a tradition to not shave. All right? So I'm going to end it on that, man. You, you see how we got at these dudes. Know what I mean? And we wasn't gonna do this. It's just that Tahar, he he came and made a video talking about us and and talking about what we said. So we had to clarify everything. And then they got mad when we clarified and we made videos on it. When that elder was the first one to make the video, and now they are quiet. Like I said, if you notice, the top elders are not saying anything. They haven't made any videos addressing this because it's not they can't. One video to her made, and that, that didn't prove anything. All right, so with that, I'm, I'm Karatazah. Kalai Haobashimiyahu Shah. Shalom Akim.